Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I will uh, install a drain plug for my trailer cooler. I'm not sure what the size of the drain plug I need for my Igloo 24 can cooler. So I picked up two different sizes. One of the drain plugs is a one inch shaft. The other drain plug is a 1.5 inch shaft so I'm gonna be drilling a hole through the floor of the 24 can igloo cooler so I can make a spot for a drain plug so underneath I want to go in between these rails and I just want to be able to reach in and pull the drain plug to drain the water out so it should be a pretty easy installation so I have everything I need. I'm gonna be using a drill, a drill step bit. And I'm gonna either use the one inch or 1.5 inch shaft for the drain plug. So stay tuned to this video and I'm gonna show you how I install it. So let's get started. So I have a pretty good idea of where I want to install the drain plug inside of the drink cooler is a um, a low section of the cooler floor. So I guess it's designed that most of the water will go into this lower section. So I kind of have an idea exactly where I want to put the drain plug just here in this lower section. If I look on the bottom of the cooler. I kind of want to get it center somewhere around this center spot. So I think I kind of know where I want to drink, where I want to drill my hole. So I'm going to take my, my drill and I'm just going to make a spot to drill out. So here we go. And I know exactly where it needs to sit. So looking inside of the drink cooler, I'm just going to take my step bit and I'm going to drill through the same spot where I made my hole. So I'm going to take my drill. Make sure that I don't make that hole too big. Okay, that went straight through. Now let's check the bottom. So looking at the bottom, the hole needs to be a little bit bigger. All right, so now I can fill it with water to verify that I don't have any leaks. Okay. 
And I like this setup because I'm not going to be taking this cooler off of the trailer. So it doesn't have to sit level with the drain plug on the bottom. So it looks good. I don't see any leaks or anything. So when I'm ready to drain the cooler, all I have to do is pull the drain plug. Look at that. Draining nice and, and fast. So, so the good summertime. thing about this setup, I mean, it's nearly draining almost 100% of the water out of the cooler. So that's real good. Probably just a little bit left in there. I mean, very little. So I actually like this setup. The cooler that I'm using is actually a Igloo 24 can cooler. I had this just in case I messed up. I didn't think I would, but I had this just in case. Brand new cooler, but it doesn't have a drain plug. So the floor size uh, that fits better is the one and a half inch. So far, I like the way everything turned out with my drain plug. So now I can just drain the cooler whenever I'm parked with my trailer. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. I will include a link in the description of where you guys can pick up everything that I purchased here in the video. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.